The preacher would tell my mama, hey, you make sure you bring that boy so he can sing when we go out of town. So you're an alto? Uh, probably tenor. Tenor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was your favorite song to sing? God has smiled on me. Come on now. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. Mm. And see, they know me for rapping. So they yeah. people really don't know me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Um, so you get... After you, you know, being in this small town and whatnot, what, how did you introduce yourself to music? What, how did right. you step up to well, the play? My mama always had me in the choir as mm. a young kid. I was sung in the choir. I had grown ladies in the audience shouting with their wigs falling off and crying and just dancing and all this. And I'm a young kid, a kid watching this. How did that affect you, seeing that music had that much power over somebody? At that particular time, I, I didn't, like, study how it's affecting. Mm. I'm just going through the motions. I'm a kid. I'm like a how teenager. How old were you? Oh, teenager. Mm. But I started singing in the church, like, at five, four. Okay. The preacher would tell my mama, hey, make sure you bring that boy so he can sing when we go out of town. Were you an alto? Uh, probably tenor. Tenor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was your favorite song to sing? God has smiled on me. Come on now. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. Mm. And see, they know me for rapping. So they yeah. people really don't know me. Yeah, but at the wow. end of the day, um, man, listen, man. It's something about, you know, Making a joyful noise to the Lord. Yeah, nice be honest voice. with you, you know that that's that, that's why them that's why they were falling out, jumping around, <laughs> catching the Holy Ghost. Oh, look, it go deeper than that. One of my mama friends and caught me on this on this slick and got me outside of church doing things. And I'm a kid. She married with three kids. Uh uh. Yeah. I'm sneaking out my mama window. Yeah, it's going down. Cause she picking me up. This the lady from the church. Yeah, it going down. That's what turned me from church kind of. I was just family. about to say that same Be thing. Really, she turned you out. She did. She picked me. She used to pick me up, take me down the road, and it got. She got off the hook with it. She would. We would be at the house. Like she bring me to the other side of the house. She'll make everybody go over here, take me over. I'm like this woman mm -hmm, doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Man, you know, and that, but but you know, a lot of times that, that y'all wanted to hear it all. Didn't no, no, we got to hear it all. Uh, when you think about it, that, that this is every, and it ain't just happened to you. This just happened consecutively I to know. most people that's going to a lot of different buildings, doing different things. We've heard crazy stories about people who were even the leader of the church. You know, got babies, and they they can't even say that he they dead. It's just sitting out there being preached to. So this is something that, that was happening frequently in, in a lot of the uh, churches. And I was a kid, so really, what's that called? Well, that's it. Yeah. yeah, she's Pedophile. a pedophile. So I'm a victim of it. It's out there. Wow. Now, yeah, you remind me of Antoine Fisher. Mm -hmm. Y'all you know, go check that movie out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.